I welcome you my channel here to the base mechanical engineering. In this video, we discuss on the bell collabon cycle. In this video, you learn the introduction of bell collabon cycle, its schematic diagram and its various component, PV diagram, TS diagrams and derivation of bell collabon cycles. We first learn the basic introductions of the bell collabon cycle. The bell collabon cycle is also known as reverse Breton cycle. It is also known as the reverse Joule cycle. And the working refrigerants inside the system is the air. In the bell collabon cycle, the refrigerant is air. So its system is work on the basis of the air. Now we learn the schematic diagram. PV diagram and TS diagram. So bell column and cycle is consist of the four component. First one is the air compressors, cooler, expanders and refrigerators. We learn the schematic diagram one by one component and doing the one by one process on the PV as well as on the TS diagram. So first component is the compressor. Now what is the function of compressor? to increase the pressure of the air by reducing its volume. So here the inlet of the air is coming into the compressors. It's compressed that is a isentropic compression process is takes place and the pressure of the air is reduced. Sorry, pressure of the air is increased and volume of the air is reduced and its outlet is come and it is known as the process 1 to 2. The inlet point of the compressor is 1, outlet point is 2. So outlet pressure P2 is increased and the P1 is the lower pressure. So this process is known as the isentropic compression process. During this process isentropic means entropy remains constant during the process. So entropy is constant, compression is happen, then the pressure is increased, volume is reduced and temperature is also increased. Now we do draw first this process on the PV and TS diagram that is a process 1 to 2. So on this y axis P means pressure, on the x axis that is a volume V. Similarly another graph that is a TS. T means temperature, S means entropy. So in this diagram on the X axis is entropy and Y axis is temperatures. So at the point number 1, the pressure is lower. Means on this Y axis, suppose here the zero pressure. When we move in the upper direction, pressure is going to increase 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Similarly on TS diagram, when we move in upper direction, temperature is increased. On X axis, when we move towards the right side, the volume is increased. When we move on TS diagram on the right side, then the entropy is increased. So at the first point, that is the highest volume of the system and the pressure is lower. So point number one is come onto the bottom right side. So it is a point number one. And two point, that is a during the process, the pressure is increased and volume is reduced. So 1 to 2 line on the PV diagram is coming on the cow shape because it is an isentropic compression process. Pressure is increased. So we see that here the at the two point pressure is increased. Here the P1, here the P2 and volume is reduced here V1 and V2. The value of V2 is lower than the V1. Similarly, we drawing the isentropic compression process on the TS diagram. Now here the meaning of isentropic means entropy remains constant. When the entropy remains constant, the line is coming into the vertical directions. But arrow is in which direction? Downward or upwards. During the compression, the temperature is increased. So it is moved from the downward direction to the upper directions. So point number one, lower temperatures, higher entropy. Point number two, isentropic means it is a constant entropy. So here we check that 
entropy at the point 1 and 2 is same that is s1 is equal to s2 next this high pressure high temperature air is supplied into the air cooler in the air cooler the process 2 to 3 is takes place the process 2 to 3 is the isobaric heat rejection process isobaric means at the constant pressure heat is rejected to the atmosphere so during 2 to 3 process pressure is remains constant and the air cooler is a one type of the heat exchanger it exchange the heat with something so here the heat is exchanged either with the air or water so this air high pressure air is cooled by the another air or a waters now we drawing this process on the pv diagram so when the cooling is done the pressure is remains constant means pressure p2 and the pressure p3 both are the same so for that we draw the horizontal line on the on the pv diagram so horizontal line is move either on left side or right side how we decide so it is decide that the cooling is done then the volume is also reduced so our line is move from 2 to 3 point on the left directions so it is a 2 to 3 process so volume is reduced v2 to v3 during the cooling process the temperature is reduced and also the during the cooling the entropy is also reduced when the temperature is reduced entropy is reduced so it is drawn as the curve line so it is a process 2 to 3 now next this high pressure cooled air is supplied into the expander this is also known as the air turbine so here we use the either expander or a turbine words both are the same in the turbine this high pressure air is supplied and thus some work is produced by the expanders is supplied to run the compressor so it is a shaft on the one shaft the expander as well as the compressor is installed so the what amount of the power is produced by the expander or the turbine it is supplied to compressors and it is the outlet so in the expander or a turbine the process 3 to 4 is takes place and process 3 to 4 is the isentropic expansion process isentropic means at the constant entropy expansion is carried out expansion means pressure is reduced at the constant entropy when the expansion is done then it's produce the some work when we do the compressions we require to supply some work so during this expansion process pressure is reduced also temperature is reduced on the ts diagram okay the first we draw the 3 to 4 line on the pv diagram so p3 to p4 the pressure is reduced and volume is increased when the expansion is done expansion means that is the distribution of the air when the distribution is takes place then the volume of the air is increased on the ts diagram we use the word isentropic expansion isentropic means entropy is constant so on x axis there is a entropy so when the entropy is constant it is a vertical line that means s3 is equal to s4 and during expansion temperature is reduced so its line is come on the downward direction if temperature is increased then line is going on upward direction but during the expansion the temperature is always reduced so line is coming downward directions in the 3 to 4 process then this low pressure at the inlet of the expander there is a high pressure after expansion it is converted into the low pressure then this low pressure low temperature air is supplied to the refrigerators or the air chambers in which this air is absorbed the heat from the space or the refrigerators and it is a process 4 to 1 and 4 to 1 is known as the isobaric heat absorption suppose we are required to cooling of the our room so 4 number of the air is supplied in the our room and this air is absorbed the heat from the our room when it absorbed the heat its temperature is increase okay and it is an isobaric process isobaric means constant pressure means p1 and p4 are same so its line is horizontals and this cycle is the close on the ts diagram the it's absorbed the heat 
so due to absorption its temperature is increased temperature is increased then enthalpy is also increased so 4 to 1 line is drawn on the ts diagram like as the cow shape and it is arrow is in the upper directions so in this bell coleman cycle the two process is isentropic process that is a process 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 is isentropic that means entropy is constant so for the 1 to process and 3 to 4 process we draw the vertical line when we draw the vertical line on the ts diagram then in the pv diagram this process is drawn as the curve line and process 2 3 and process 4 1 it is isobaric heat rejection and absorption isobaric that's why we drawing the horizontal line on the pv diagram and when the line is horizontal on the pv diagram then we draw in the ts diagram like the cow shapes so that is a basically four components compressor air cooler expander or turbine or refrigerators and it is the pv and ts diagram for that in the next slide we derive the equation of the cop for that we writing the equation for this four process and we derive the equation of cop now if you want to learn the how to draw the symbol of compressor and the turbine then the link is given into the description now we derive the equation by step by step the first process 1 to 2 it is isentropic compression process so in the compressor we supply the some work that is a wc wc is equal to mcp delta t so during this process t2 is higher so we write the t2 minus t1 by using this equation we are find out the work done supply to the compressor and in the example t1 is given and we find out the t2 so here we when the isentropic process is upon this standard equation is used for finding out the another temperature it is a t2 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon p1 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma and this t1 is going on the opposite side so it's come into the multiplications and p2 upon p1 is written as the pressure ratio rp so rp is the pressure ratio p2 upon p1 second process 2 to 3 isobaric heat rejections so during 2 to 3 process some heat is rejected to the atmosphere so it is denoted as the qr and qr is equal to mcp t2 minus t3 t2 is the inlet and we rejecting the heat t3 is coming the lower so this equation is t2 minus t3 next process 3 to 4 isentropic expansion process and during this process some work done is produced that is a wt is equal to mcp t3 minus t4 during the expansion temperature is reduced so inlet temperature t3 is higher and t4 is lower again it is isentropic expansion the when the expansion process is come the we using this similar equation t3 upon t4 is equal to p3 upon p4 raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma and this rp is equal to the pressure ratio next process 4 to 1 isobaric heat absorptions during this process the cooling is produced and it is denoted as the qs mcp t1 minus t4 it absorbed the heat so at the end of the process temperature is increased so it is written as t1 minus t4 now the net heat interaction during the cycles that means heat supplied and heat rejected it is called as the net heat the q net is equal to heat rejected minus heat absorbed the qr is equal to mcp t2 minus t3 and heat rejected sorry heat absorbed that is a minus mcp t1 minus t4 according to the first law of thermodynamic the cyclic process net heat interaction is equal to work interactions so this equation we also write down that the, it is a work interaction or the work supplied that is a w net that is a is equal to the q net and here we write down the same equation for the q nets next is the coefficient of performance cop the cop is derived as the refrigerating effect to the work done supplied to the system so cop is equal to the heat absorbed upon net work done what is the heat absorbed that is a mcp t1 minus t4 divided by net work done supplied mcp t2 minus t3 minus mcp t1 minus t4 so we are putting this value of the qs that is heat absorbed 
and the net work done. Now from this equation, the MCP is come to the common and it is the cancel in both the sides. Then after we put in the value of T2 and value of the T3. So from this equation, it is the value of T2. T2 is equal to T1 into pressure ratio raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. Okay, so it is a T2 value is T1, RP raised to gamma minus 1. Then we put the value of T3. T3 is equal to T4 into RP raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma. From this equation, the RP upon gamma minus 1 upon gamma is take common. So in bracket T1 minus T4. So again the T1 minus T4 is common from these bottom sides and it is cancelled in the upper directions. So final COP is equal to 1 upon RP raised to gamma minus 1 upon gamma minus 1. So it is the final equations for the bell Coleman cycles. That means COP of the bell Coleman cycle is only depend on the compression ratio not on the basis of different temperatures. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe my channels and share with your friends. If you learn something, then like this video.